From the mind of Makoto Shinkai comes a film that I am gonna see this weekend, so you know the drill. So even though I don't know anything about the movie, I still had to bring on a couple of guests to talk about how good it is. But you probably knew that because it's what the description says. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> That was awesome. That was very good. Uh, was good. You are I'm far impressed. kinder than most other people when I come up with those like an hour in advance. That's genius. Uh, so uh, I, I'm happy to say I, I have two uh, incredibly prevalent guests in the thing we're talking about today, which as I described in the song, I've not seen yet. I was originally going to talk about this uh, supposedly, allegedly brilliant film uh, after I went to go see it this weekend, uh, <laughs> but I wanted to do my part uh, for the animation world and get people to be aware of this and go see it in theaters. Uh, we're talking about Your Name, um, which has just had a massive, successful run everywhere, and it's like the number one animated movie like worldwide right now, for God's sake. Uh, and I'm joined by the uh, both directors and stars of the English dub. I have Stephanie Shea back, first time since uh, Voice October last year. <laughs> Hi. Uh, and a first-time guest who we were going to have on Voice October, but he got a little busy slash bailed on me. Um, <laughs> Is that what he did? <laughs> yes, he did. That's okay, though. My, Voice my, Tover. Uh, an, another, another Mike Pollock filled in for you. So I would just, oh, good. So you got yeah. a mic for a mic. Yes. That's a, that's in, in a fact, commensurate exchange. Yeah, he, was my, he was my New York representative. Mike Sinner Nicholas. Hey. Hi. Welcome, guys. And Ipudo. And Ipudo, a little pop pop. Hi. He's being good and quiet right so now. So you hear like, <laughs> and <laughs> that's him. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that, that's me. But I just mean just do a good impression of Ipudo. Ipudo's oh, a good, oh, good Okay, boy. now I get the, the dog's going <laughs> to like the Kong. This is, the this, is, this is the one I wish we had face, face cam oh, for. Shit, Pito, oh, oh you good pop-up. Okay. Was, was Ipudo in the dub somewhere? I hope. No. Did you do some sound design? There is a no. dog in there, but oh. it was already covered in the Damn internet. So. Oh, I wanna, I'll just pretend. Plus, I can't Ipudo. get him to talk on cue. Ugh. Talk. You got to take some workshops, buddy. I know. I guess we have to work on our directing skills. Clearly. We can't even make him talk, let alone talk better. He like hardly will sit. Oh. <laughs> Isn't Stick that right? His tongue out, and everybody, everybody listening is just like, I want to see the dog. I'll take a picture and tweet it at some point. Uh, so, uh, okay, I what, what I'm kind of excited about is that I'm going into this movie relatively blind, except for like just the very basic concept. Because I guess to blow the lid off, Wait, I did I did what audition do for you... it. Well, no. all I know is based on okay, wait a minute. when I auditioned Th- for this it. This film has a lot of spoilers, yes. and yes. we don't want to spoil any no. of them. No, no. So, well, okay, well, so, so there, have, there have been some clips that have come out. Like, right, that but don't been... watch them. Don't watch okay. them. Okay, Because right. they spoil stuff. Okay. Uh... This is, like, the hardest sell. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, like, hey, we can't tell you anything about this movie, but go watch it. It's great. Yeah. Well, I, well I, why? I... What's it about? Um, well, you don't want to know. Wait, but I want to know if I want to go. No, just, you want to go. Well, well, okay, well, here, here's, here's a fair point. Like, it's... It's been out for a while. Yeah. So, and and I feel like at this point, because mainly what I want to do is I want to get people interested to go see it. So I feel like the basic enough things about, like, you know, like the the thing about your two guys' the characters. Thing, the thing We're is, talking about the thing a lot. Yes, the thing. The, here's the thing is that when I... When uh, when Michael and I were told we were working on it, we knew that this movie was a big deal, mm-hmm. but we didn't know anything about it. So mm-hmm. we sat down to watch it together mm-hmm. with another friend, and then like our minds were blown. Mm-hmm. And the experience, I think, was enhanced by the fact that we didn't know anything about it. Okay. Yes. So that's – and I would love everyone else to have that experience as okay. well. Okay. So I try not to tell people about it. And then – um, a couple weeks ago, Funimation did like the dub premiere. Mm-hmm. They did a, a event, like a invite only event, and a bunch. We invited, uh, you know, the cast and crew who worked on it, and I even invited uh, cast members who had smaller roles. Mm-hmm. Um, and unlike uh, normally when I'm directing, uh, normally I will tell the actor everything about the film, mm-hmm. even parts of the plot that they maybe don't even need to know, you know, like backstory about it to set it up. But mm-hmm. for this movie, I was like, oh my gosh, this movie is so good. I want you to love it, but I also don't want you to know anything about it. Right. And, you know, you're going to probably go see it because you're in it or, you know, get invited to a screening or something. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Like, and I intentionally didn't tell the actors any more than they needed to know. Right. And, like, they were like, they were very shocked. I mean, they really enjoyed it, but also were like shocked by okay. like. Okay. So, so a lot of like the 
friend characters and some of them like they didn't know anything other than just what their scenes were when they were recording yeah for it. Okay. but i even mean like people who are like the newscaster yeah and the ramen <laughs> shop owner you know all you have to know is there's a comet great yeah say that bye <laughs> yeah. um you've said too much oh well uh <laughs> there's ramen god Oops. oh no spoilers oh, there's ramen yeah. in the in this japanese film my god uh, well, I guess then maybe to start off differently, uh, do you guys want to talk about how, like, you came to be involved with the movie? Because sure. mm. part of that also involves something. I mean, it, the basic premise of the movie. Is that a spoiler? I guess you can say that. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was but getting what at. is the, like, I feel like the premise is different each Okay. Person. But you know what I mean? Like, the, 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 the initial conceit that is revealed in the first five minutes of the film. Okay. 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 Um... There's a and it's not uh what? W- okay first what? five minutes I, feel <laughs> I, I know like it it's can't the be first, unsaid like it's like the first fifteen twenty minutes of the film but it depends on how quick you are yeah you know uh, how do you talk about this but, film but that <laughs> part of it that part of it is pretty much in all of the synopsis in it's all in, the blurbs yeah. and in yeah. all the it's it's in the trailer yeah, yeah it's in that the trailer. that's that's all I know. What what I think he's talking about? I mean, the, we didn't even thing. we didn't even know the thing. Yeah, the thing. We had no idea. No. And they were like, "What the? Uh, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Anime trope, sure. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> um, uh, so I, this is um, the, I don't know. This is probably the most dumb, slow, and frustrating interview you've done <laughs> because we like, oh, let's talk about your movie. And you no, know what? To be honest, talk like, about our movie. I bet you over half the audience already knows the premise so they're like just say it we already know it like, come on let's get to second base already <laughs> Ethan already did he was kissing Stephanie a he's while like ago. I know oh. what happens in this movie um, I saw the whole thing well nah. so uh, this came to us through uh, Anime Unlimited mm-hmm. uh, which is in the UK and the God bless him. This movie, as I understand it, when this movie was being shopped around for people to license it mm. internationally, they were like, would you like uh, Shinkai's new film? They're like, uh, sounds great. Can I see it? No, it's not made yet. Okay, <laughs> great. So do you want it? Oh, well, uh, can I Can I read a script? Yeah, can't. You just have to take it or not. And they were like, what? So Andrew Partridge, who's a little genius, was like, yes, 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 thank you, and yes, mm-hmm. and more, and yes, please. Mm-hmm. So he just got the thing. Uh, so... He reached out to us. We've done dubs with with them before, and uh, they've, you know, it's they're a really really great client. They mm. let us do what you know our our best. Uh, there's there's assistance and some oversight, um, but they they really work with us on on the things we want to do. Mm-hmm. So on this film, we had very little time actually to work on it. So the idea came up, hey, one thing that would be kind of cool is if you and Stephanie, who know each other so well, could both direct this and be the leads because the conceit that I am now even awkward about revealing that everyone already knows is that there's like a body switching thing. Right. right? Yeah. So if we get to direct each other being us, mm-hmm. then that would be sort of an interesting leg up. Like, we have worked together now for... But that was before we even watched the movie. That's what Andrew had pr- proposed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we watched the movie. Mm-hmm. And then Michael and I were like, I don't know that I'm right for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'm actually glad that you guys brought that up because, I, you know, I've not actually seen a whole lot of, like, oh, what the hell about that, but I feel that it is worth pointing out that, like, you guys did properly audition the two main characters. It wasn't just, oh, we're just going to give ourselves the main roles or whatever. And even then, like... Actually, yeah, we did audition because, well, one, because I feel like that's the right thing to do, but Mm -hmm. two, because after watching the movie, we loved it, but we were a little bit on the fence about um, uh, about if we were right for the parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... But then ultimately in the auditions, and I think that there might have been, we had a slight advantage mm-hmm. having seen the whole film. Yeah. Um, the A lot of the auditions that we would get back were, especially with the men, there was like, what happened with the females too? There was no um, difference. Mm-hmm. Between well, the two no, versions. Between the two yeah. versions. Oops, yeah. did I just say too much? Yeah. Well, I mean, body swap was, was mentioned, so um, yeah. Yeah, sure. there, was, there wasn't there was enough of a difference between the two versions of the characters. Mm-hmm. Um, it happened a lot for the guys, um, and it happened even more so for the girls. 
And then on top of that, for the girls, there's a slight accent involved. Right. And all of the auditions that had the better, uh, had the, all of the better auditions, like a lot of the actors just didn't even attempt the accent right at all well because so. i remember because in the audition it seemed like uh i guess this isn't really a spoiler because it just has to do with like context is like the accent had to do with like the the region that the character lived in and it was so like, so mm-hmm. yeah so uh mitsuha is from a, a certain town a mm-hmm. small town and there's a dialect mm-hmm in the Japanese version. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't really have in the English language enough of a dialect change to make it noticeable, not noticeable. Mm -hmm. So usually when you adapt it, you, the closest thing you have is like an accent that you change it with an accent. Mm -hmm. Dialect is actually, um, way using different words to say things and different expressions and whatnot. And we just don't have enough strong enough of that to come through in, in our dialogue. Right. And, um, and typically, you know, there's someone from Kans- the Kansai region and they'll use Kansai Ben, but it gets dubbed typically since that's the southern region of Japan as like yeah. a hick accent. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Um, so that's, so that's like the most common. The yeah. most common is But there's so many like different southern, southern accents as well. There's right. Louisiana, there's Georgia, there's Texas. Yeah. Uh, so then it becomes, you know, whatever it is. And I, I've always thought that conceit was a little bit distracting. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, for me as an audience member, it's, it is it is distracting to me. Like, um so then... Also, this region is more sort of it's, western, northern. So we were like, what would that equate in our country? Like, Midwest? Yeah. Because I remember... Well, because... This is okay to say. In the, in the auditions, I remember it was it was something like... Uh, was it like a Georgia? No, not, not Georgia. What was the, what was the specific no, it place was, you mentioned? No, it was, like a, it was a, like a like a midwestern type of midwestern or minnesotan minnesota like, air. yeah that's but right but not it doesn't have to be so specifically minnesota yeah. but like and we wanted it very light yeah yeah like yeah. around that area mm-hmm. um we wanted it very very light we wanted it and i think in a way i think we maybe were too successful with it because we wanted it to be that you can sense a difference, that mm-hmm. everybody from this area, you could sense a difference, and it would help distinguish the characters yeah. when they were swapped in the bodies. But we didn't want you to consciously feel like that's an accent. Yeah. So yeah. there was, around the time that we were casting for this, there was a thing, there was a big pr- uh, benefit, like tribute concert for Prince mm-hmm. in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the radio station, they were interviewing a reporter who attended this event and was a local of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to her speak, and I actually recorded it. And I was like, oh, I, I could hear her accent, but it was very, very slight, but yeah. I could hear it. And then I played it for Michael, and he was like, I don't even... I." It I, was real light. It was yeah. so light that he could barely hear the difference. But mm-hmm. I, like could definitely hear a difference and that's it's because girls are smarter (laughs) (laughs) and that's and i think that's kind of what we were going for we didn't want you to be like consciously like you know i think that people are a little bit more sensitive would pick on pick up on it Mm. but we didn't also want to be so distinctly we didn't want to go full fargo yeah yeah we just wanted fargo (laughs) we just wanted a little taste because i remember like um when I when I when I tried for it, because uh, like there were there were the two main characters and then a lot of the friends that were from the different regions and stuff. I remember what I kind of equated it to was back in the day when Vancouver used to do a lot more anime right. and like you could you know the days of Brad Swale and Matt right. Hill and a lot of those guys and they right. had a little bit of that like come on like type of like what what are you talking about type stuff. Yeah. Not a boot. I didn't say a boot. A boot everybody, yeah. but but that kind of thing where it's like sorry. It, yeah, but it, but it's like it's almost kind of like surfer ish but not like full on like California woe bro type thing. I don't I don't think it sounded a little bit more well you haven't heard it yet, but it sounds a little bit more towny. Towny is the word yeah. it doesn't Throughout sound it doesn't sound dudish. Dudish. <laughs> no, I mean, because there is like, don't you know? Like, there's like a little few of those. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, hey, yeah. you know, and the hey, yeah, you know, like things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's funny. I anecdotally, when when we were auditioning it and people were starting to do the accent, a lot of people went from like full, oh yeah, don't you know, into like something uh, uh, Irish, Irish. <laughs> and we we're like, darn it! And it was like this this weird Irish trap that happened to everyone. The potato trap. 
Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> every, every, mostly in the New York side, I think. Yeah, yeah it happens. Most of the New York they, we love potatoes in New York. Um, <laughs> They're quite and, good. Oh, yeah. You fry them up, you poach them, you, you, you blanch. Do you blanch potatoes? Anyway, um, so... Uh, <laughs> Look, side note, I have a machine that makes healthy french fries. I bought it expressly to make french fries that weren't so unhealthy. Uh-huh. Yeah. The 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 tea I, 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 I don't have oh, brand names. Oh. Can you can Sorry. you say that? It's very you can bleed it's out very the important. Brand name. No, I don't give a shit whatever. Cuz Philip's makes one as well, but I got this, the other one. Anyway, yeah. so uh yeah, so that was a weird trap we kept finding people falling into and then and also we had so little time to do all this. We're doing yeah. the development as we're doing the auditions and we're like, well, do we scrap the accent? I really don't want to. Mm-hmm. Something has to distinguish them. And in the original language version, they talk about the dialect. Mm-hmm. Why are you yeah. talking funny? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we couldn't not do it. And and for me, uh, I know for you, you, you have a different story about what locked it in for you. For me, Stephanie locked in the accent because she was actually born in Kalamazoo, Michigan and still has Uh-oh. tinges of this weird little accent. By weird, I mean totally adorable. But uh, like, for instance... <laughs> Uh, what's oh, that you're food? Gonna make you say it again. You're gonna make you say the word. So there's a food that you put between two pieces of bread, and then what do you call that? It's a Earl of sandwich. <laughs> do you hear the sandwich? Sandwich. sandwich. A little sandwich. <laughs> so I would say sandwich, but you say sand, sand. Sandwich. And and for me that was like what it sounds like, like the little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like it's that little tinge meant for me like well I think you should be doing this part. Um, for me, it was Kyle A. Bear's audition because mm-hmm. when I heard his audition, I was like, "Yes, yeah. that's the model." Yeah, um, made me happy because I feel like I haven't heard him play like a teenager like in a hot minute. So I, I was happy he got that one. Uh, I guess actually, while we're on that note too, so Kyle A. Bear, uh, Cassandra Morris, mm-hmm. play the best couple. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good at it. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, ben Pronsky, I think is. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's uh, my bro. Uh, crap. Crap. Uh, Ray Chase. Ray oh yes, Chase. of course, Ray Chase. Yep. Um, <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, there's in everything. That bastard, I'll kill him. Oh, I love wow. you. I love you, Ray. Uh, who else? Don't deprive uh, the world of his work. No, no, he's beautiful. Uh, Laura Post, I know, is in a. Yeah, Laura Post. Yeah. Oh uh, God, Mark DeRazan, I think, is your dad, <laughs> which is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, yep. do, do we see your parents? Yeah. Okay. Can you? Shoot, I don't remember the actor's name. Oh, yet. well. <laughs> I directed him over Skype. Oh. He's a New York guy. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we did the Ninja Turtles together. <laughs> Scott Williams. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Scott uh, Stockman. Yeah, yeah, Baxter yeah, Stockman yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah. Baxter Stockman is your dad, and uh, Guts is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Gatsu. Gatsu. Um, um, but then there's, like, the rest of the cast, too, was, like, really great. Like, um, Glennis. Um, oh, Glennis is, is your name. grandma. Yeah. And she's extraordinary. And then your little sister? Katie. Oh, yeah. I heard a little bit of her. She's really good. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Well, she's also a child. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and she's so hilarious. She's I so think. hilarious. Um, well, because you, you guys just also did, did uh, My My Miracle before this, and that was like a lot of kids, Yeah, and, right? and My Life as a Zucchini, which got Oscar okay. nominated, and that's all about kids at an orphanage. Mm. And in Miss Hokusai, the kids. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Actual kids. Yeah, they were great. Yeah. Um, We've been kind of that's kind of been a trend to use real kids for us. Yeah, yeah it's a, um, it's it takes more time. It's an extra expense. If you record in L.A., you have to get a set tutor. It's yeah. the it's the yeah. law of the land. Yeah. it's not even about teaching. It's about it's, child welfare. It's worth it though, because I mean, even on on, the, on joking about the Canada thing again, there was I miss that. I miss when like that was more commonly a thing, and like it shows. Cause, I like, was so against it because it's like it's like cost it costs me a job. Eeps, are you okay? You're panting. <laughs> can you hear? Can anyone hear the dog? <laughs> Oh, talk about those child actors, Ipido. Um, so taking your jobs. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was kind of like, ah, oh, what? No, adult women can sound like kids. <laughs> That's my bread and butter. And then but that uh, was just adult washing. Yeah, but then I watched. <laughs> then I watched, and then we worked with some kids, and I was like, yeah, no, there's just yeah. not, it's better it's totally in every better. way. Well, yeah. didn't didn't you guys also? I, I remember you were you were you were telling Except me for the time <laughs> story. <laughs> story. I know you didn't you didn't direct the show, but was it Care Bears? Oh, there was yeah. like the, the the mm-hmm. kid on that who was like oh super funny. Michaela. Michaela, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Is, is my girl. She is the lead in Welcome to the Space Show. Oh, the yeah. little girl. We I'm brought on her it. in on all kinds of stuff. I got her. She's so great. I got her to be a lead role in uh, Nickelodeon's uh, Peter Rabbit. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh my god, she's so good. God, it's been years. She's so smart. Uh, I I guess actually while we're thinking about this too, so like I, for those people who don't like know a lot about how stuff in this world of English dubbing shit happens. 
Uh, so language Michael, lesson. oh my God, how could this? Uh, no, don't listen to don't, him. Don't, no, don't, 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 you're just a puppy. You, you, you said shit like eight times before we recorded. Uh, that's the better version. So the the German version's better, obviously. Yeah, yeah. it's classy if it's uh, from the continent. So, so <laughs> you guys are known as kind of like the dynamic duo of MYV because you do a lot of uh, bi coastal dubs. Yeah, because you know ever all all of the folks from New York, uh, who I still feel still to this day get like kind of an unfair rep because of the ancient times of you know the Saturday morning uh, shows. Um, but but there are but I mean for. God's sake, like, they're Broadway, like, theater-trained, amazing yeah. people, and, and when they get to do stuff like this, it's amazing. Uh, and then you guys have access to everybody who's good that's out here, and even all the people from Texas that were good that moved out here <laughs> eventually. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, like, and I know that, that with not everything you do, like, it, you're able to do that because of time constraints, but, like, um, I guess on this movie and just in general, like, when you guys are doing a bi production, like... How does that differ from like what any other show where it's just like it's the one place and you just do everything there? Well, typically for me, I want to unless the client insists on being region specific. Mm-hmm. I uh, for me, it's it's transparent. I can open the audition to everyone in New York and L.A. Mm-hmm. and then we get the, I, you know, a much wide. Okay, as a director, I feel like. Um, you know, as when you're an auditioning actor, you feel like you've got to impress the director. Oh, God, please hire me. Mm-hmm. But as a director, I feel like the truth is the other way around. I can't do what I do without my palette. Mm-hmm. You know, a painter needs paint. Mm-hmm. A director needs actors to craft, to put on that canvas. And and we have access to more of them because we have New York and L.A. Um, and yeah, and, and each region has a different reputation for what they're able to do. I'm lucky because I've worked in basically every region, mm-hmm. starting with North Carolina, which used to dub things in the oh. 90s, oh early 90s. Wow. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not old. But <laughs> so I worked in North Carolina, Texas, New York, L.A. I've done well, commercial stuff in Chicago. Um, I've done, uh, I mean, I almost was in some Canadian stuff. Really? That's a whole other story. <laughs> but, but You would have hit up every every locale, for Christ's sake. Right. Oh. Um, uh, so so I, having access to all that talent matters. And... For me, we we built my studio NYB Post to to be able to seamlessly record in both places. Even on a, we did a three delivery years ago for Nickelodeon, and we oh, had yeah. Johnny Young Bosch, Stephanie Shea were in it, and then we had the other actors were in New York, and actually it was a prelay group record that we did in real time by coastally. Wow, um, I got some technology for that. <laughs> uh, actually, I was developing some proprietary stuff, and then uh, a company came out with some great stuff, and I mm-hmm. used that. But uh, we're able to even do it for ADR, so we can dub bi-coastally and do that. Sometimes I go back and forth. Uh, Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff we've done, like for G-Kids, that are, you know, like a lot of these Oscar-nominated movies, Mm -hmm. um, I'll go back and forth sometimes because there's nothing like being in the room with the actor. Yeah, of course. Um, So I like doing that. But unless I'm told not to, I always go bi-coastally. It doesn't... It's a little more uh, scheduling and stuff, but it doesn't necessarily cost more mm-hmm. because I'm already set up. Yeah. I mean... And it costs more plane tickets. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to fly, it costs more. And it costs I, more jet lag. Yeah. I know. I feel I feel like... Uh, I mean, this is probably the duh joke with you, everybody who knows you, but I'm just like, where is Mike right now? Is he here? Is he there? Is he yeah. in another country? Is he on another planet? I don't know. We'll never know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to... This is a scoop. Okay. You're the first person to hear this. Okay. I have a clone. Oh my God! It's true. So finally, you, you will see me in two. Pla- you won't see me in two places at once, unless you can also be in two places at once. But I am in two places at once. Oh, the mystery of Juicy Flanagan! Finally, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. Now I must kill you. Oh God! <laughs> Last curb lock ever. Here you go. Bye. Um, they, they, they uploaded this for me. If I were an assassin, I would say bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an anime plot waiting to happen. Uh, <laughs> bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, let's see. Uh, I, I totally went off track for a while. Yeah. But but hey, but, but I got a question. Like I, sure. I, the work we do is very isolated, and I'm not really that heavy on. I don't go to the forums really. Mm-hmm. Um, so but because I'm always working. Uh, yeah. So do do you think it matters to have a bi coastal recording? Um, you know what? I think that it's interesting because I, as I've kind of followed, like you know, it's it's such a niche within a niche within a niche kind of thing. But like. It seems like people do appreciate when it's like, whoa, this is like an all-star, like, they got, like, really the best people from, like, here and there and everywhere and et cetera. Because even, you know, and not that there's anything wrong with it. It's like, oh, it's this 
studio. It's this company, and it's, oh, it's, they they clearly they knew. Like I think like because of the stuff that you guys have done, people know. Oh yeah, it's an NYV show, and they have like you know like Wayne Grayson and Dan Green, and you know like like, the, like and Mark Drazen, those kind of guys. You know, and I think that people appreciate that too. But I think that when you have something that you know is like a big deal, and they see like oh they really like pulled out the big guns for this, like that's cool. And I think that there that there are people that do see that there is, like, value to that. Uh, you know, I think that most people probably just don't know shit about shit and they're just going to go see the movie, which is also fine. Irmas um, Ipido. Yeah, well, Ipido, sorry. God, <laughs> corrupting his poor dog. Um, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it certainly shows. I mean, I, I think that, um, you know, because, like, dubs have come such a long way in, like, the last 10 years and the last 20 years, and I think that people have grown to, like, see, like, how much work goes into them and, like like that there is appreciation for like like from the people that are making them that there is appreciation for like the source material and like trying to like put a lot of care into it you know which is why I like you guys because you guys are always doing that and I appreciate that so thank you I, I feel like uh and in terms of like like heavy hitters like Dan Green Wayne Grayson Mark Drazen all these people that we get to work with even like those New York people mm-hmm. um um I think we're, we've been really lucky also because I got a reputation early on in New York. You mm-hmm. talked about the the olden times in New York, mm-hmm. and uh, and gracefully didn't mention any company names, but I got a reputation in New York for being a place where actors could do actors' work. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times in in this business, you're if you you'll book again if you can be fast, mm-hmm. and fast isn't necessarily mining the 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 material for all the best you know. Yeah best work and there are a lot of missed opportunities so you know uh and when i was working at some very large entities in new york it would be one or two takes no previews Mm -hmm. but they weren't really in the business of uh, of dubbing something they were in the business of releasing original content that happened to exist in japan first but we won't talk about that right now it's an american show on tv (laughs) right so they took great liberties with the plots and the character names and everything, which got them in trouble with hardcore fans, but that wasn't their audience. It was a TV thing. And some of the things they did that changed stuff was because of standards and practices yeah. on Saturday morning cartoons. Like, yeah. one piece couldn't have a guy smoking cigarettes on Saturday morning American right. television. So so all that being said, uh, actors would come in, do more than two takes sometimes for me, and then freak out. Like, what am I doing wrong? And I would say nothing. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing great, but hey, there's no rehearsal process. I come from a classical theater background, and it's all about homework and research. Yeah. And you don't get to do that here. And half the time, you don't even have a script when you show up. More than half the time. Yeah. If you get a script before you show up for an anime, then it's a banner day. Yeah. And yeah. and now, because things are happening so close to release, there's NDAs and. No one wants the materials going out there. In the yeah. olden days, we used to make dubs. I know my company did this in North Carolina. Southwind Studios did this for Animego. And I know, Stephanie, you guys did this with uh, Digital Manga Broccoli. Sync Point. Yeah. Sync point. Um, we made tapes for people. So they could review the show before they came in to record it. Yeah. And now, eh. I, I always, personally, I, if I can, I always try to do that. Yeah. Uh, maybe even just like the day before, like I'll check out an episode if I know if I'm going to record one or whatever, like because mainly because I care the most about context. That is what I feel is always like the biggest like hurdle is like what's actually going on right now and why do why, why does my character care? Why are they invested or whatever? Yeah. Um, you know, so like like if, if like I remember um when Casey was doing uh, uh Time of Eve, Kay, shout out to you Casey, love you. Uh she watched the whole thing beforehand to like just it, she's in one part of the movie, but she's mm-hmm. like, I just wanted to know what the hell was going on the whole entire time and then she also was like, "Oh, I like this." You know, Patam Inverted when I read for that, I watched the full scene and tried to do it in timing with what was going on and talking to Cassandra's character, etc. Um, cuz I think that, that does make a difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. It makes all the difference. And, and and actually when you come in as a dub actor, uh, you are beholden, uh, like you, you depend on the director entirely for your context, but then there's also what the director wants to carve out of this. So you don't know what's going on, you're just saying your parts, and if you're not given the right context, the performance won't really hold up. And yeah. when you watch the movie as an audience later, it's such granular work. It's really, really tricky stuff. And a lot of people believe that it's the hardest kind of animation VO to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't get to record together, so you don't hear what the other person did. I mean, context also includes how someone else is, is addressing you, mm-hmm. asking you the question, or, or responding to your question, yeah. and how that conversation flows. So the director has to hold a lot in their mind, and, uh, and we think a lot about that. Yeah. A lot. And I think that's what makes our dubs look like our dubs. Yay. I I agree. Well, I think that also that that's uh, I think that that 
works very much to the advantage of, you know, in the end, having you two as these two main characters, because I think that they probably had the right instinct of like, look, they're on the upper echelon of people that do this to begin with. They are like good fits for these characters. It's not like you guys haven't played teenage girl and teenage guy before. My God, what a concept. I've totally been teenage girl before. (laughs) And we did submit our auditions for approval. Yeah. Yeah. Clients. So it's not like, I I haven't like people that have worked for me, uh, like, like uh, Durazon was a director for me and Shemmel was a director for me. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't cast myself typically. Yeah. I remember, uh, when, when, uh, I had an office manager in New York, uh, and she was always like, this is a part for you, like, on something else we did years ago. Um, Freedom, actually. And I wanted to do it, but it took telling me, why are we auditioning these other people? It's a role you would do. But I had this weird aversion, because I think it doesn't look great if you're like, oh, I own a studio and I'm being all the leads. Yeah. So I always, it's always about auditions. I also fully believe in the collaborative effort of a director and an actor. Mm-hmm. It's not about one person and one voice. Yeah. Uh, even the director... If the director has final say on everything and just gives line readings throughout the entire movie, everyone's going to have one voice. Yeah. That director's voice. Mm -hmm. And the collaborative process means that everyone can sound very different. I think in your name, the world really comes alive with people. The Townie people sound very unique. The Tokyo people sound different than them. And the way that we divided up the directing is that, like, well, like, Michael, you know, obviously we directed each other, which Mm -hmm. was interesting because sometimes there was a lot of, like, that's not... I wouldn't say it that way, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, checks and balances, right? But... I almost see. I almost feel like you know. Those of you who don't know, line reading is when literally uh, the director will be like, "Okay, line, 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 line," and then uh, the actor is expected to do it that way. Say it this way. Yeah, but but I'm I, your father. But <laughs> but, I, but I almost feel like you know. I don't I don't know what the process was, but I'm I'm curious. Like this would be a case where doing line readings would be like appropriate in terms of like it's it's the other person did we, give each other, I don't we didn't really no. give each other line we readings really. no we just t- like I remember there's a scene where you your body with me in it mm-hmm. that sounds weird <laughs> earmuffs Ipido, um, <laughs> is uh, just uh, riding a bike and falls off a thing and almost gets hurt and your instinct was to be like ah! like oh what happened and I was like no you're more like inconvenienced by this because you're on your way to do something important. Because so, I'm a boy. So mm-hmm. you're a boy. So instead of like, oh no, I almost got hurt. You'd be like, damn it. Now I got to walk. You know? <laughs> so and, and that moment, it's it's going to go by, it's going to fly over one's everyone's head. But it's later in the movie and when when the bike falls and she, her body grabs like a branch, um, I, it always, I'm always reminded of the moment directing you in this very room mm-hmm. where I was like, no, no, just uh, like toughen it up and don't, don't be freaked out about the almost hurt. Just be like, crap, I got to pay attention. I got to be focused on my goal. And it comes through. And I think it's all subtle things like that. And is that just a reaction? It's just a reaction. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. But so that's, can I, can I, can I give you another accolade? I remember one of the first things I did with you guys was I just literally I just did bits on one of the Berserk movies. Oh yeah, the Berserk movie. And literally like soldier, like you fell off a horse. D I think. So- yeah, no, I, I got my arm chopped off. Yes, I remember. Yeah, that, that, oh, was, yeah. that was that was hilarious. Yeah, uh, and terrifying. But I had another moment. I remember this where uh, I was like one of Casca's like posse soldiers or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's fighting my Pollock's character, and uh, I I was screaming. I was literally just saying her name like Commander Casca or whatever. And I remember your your direction was like okay, more like uh, you're calling out because you're concerned for your mom and less like you're concerned for your girlfriend. And literally, you <laughs> predicted what my like at, this is like years ago. What my like instinct was, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I did. But literally, we spent like a good couple takes on just that, and yeah. it never felt like oh, this is too much or God, it's just a background voice or whatever. It's like no, this is all with intention and with like some kind of meeting to the greater scheme of the whatever and I'm like god more I, people do that <laughs> please I really something that Stephanie and I we talk about a lot specificity is what it is all about yeah. and I feel like uh, it's really easy to paint by numbers when it comes to dubs it's already been done you can see it in Japanese that guy sounds angry be angry mm-hmm. but that's not what it's about at all and I think if you do that you deprive the audience of the opportunity to be taken on this adventure yeah. like you have to present the stuff and let them react mm-hmm. don't instruct them how to react that's not what any of this is about. It's yeah. not what art's about. Even at worst, it's not what entertainment's about. It's not entertaining if you're just like, "Be think this is cute. See that he's angry." <laughs> if if your daughter runs across the street 
and almost gets hit by a car and mm. you grab her and yell at her, you could say, be more angry at your daughter. But you're not angry at your daughter. You're terrified, you're terrified that she yeah. almost got run over by yeah. a car. Yeah. So if you yell at her and shake her by the shoulders, it's not because you're pissed off. You know what I mean? Mm. Oop, that's my stomach. <laughs> I thought it was mine. We haven't eaten yet. No, I felt my stomach. Clearly. You, I wonder if you could hear that. Oh, my God. So, Keep it out. Sp- oh, He's out. The dog let one go in the booth. <laughs> so, so anyway, for me, that is what it's all about. Yeah. And that, and that, it's also, the, the, the dub in the end is a sum total of all those little choices. Mm. So my- if, you're, if you're getting lazy with that stuff, then it just sounds like a dub. Yeah. And, and our goal is for things to sound originally recorded. Yep. And for our audience to have the same emotional response that the original yeah. audience and the original yeah. language have. And Michael directed most of the, like, his friends and, like, m- more of, like, the Tokyo side. Mm-hmm. Oh, characters. she doesn't mean Michael's friends. She means the your character's, character's friends. friends. Yeah, your character. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. your character. I, I had a lot of fun directing Cassandra, though. Yeah, she was the only person that you... Wasn't one of my That posse. wasn't one of your posse that you directed. She's great. Yeah. Oh, I love Cassandra. Shout out to you, Cassandra. You'll yeah. probably never hear this. And but... she's fantastic in this movie. Yeah. 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 I, saw, I saw a little bit of her uh, in one of the clips they put out because I couldn't help myself. Um, Stop watching the uh, clip. I can't. I want to. I'm spoiling it for I yourself. know. I know. Uh, yeah. well, I, well, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it this weekend. Uh, mm. I've been looking forward to this for like a while. I kept thinking it was like, because I was doing a whole swarm of like, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! movie and mm. uh, One Piece Film Gold and Sailor Moon R, which mm. was great. And, like, I was doing a whole swarm of, like, her blog reviews about, like, anime movies and theaters out here. Like, whoa, cool. And I kept thinking your name was going to come out, like, back in January. So I've been waiting for I, this. I think <laughs> they said, like, February or March. And uh-huh. then ultimately said April. So it's April 7th. Yeah. Um, and you can go on an uh, Funimation. Is it Funimation.com forward slash your name? Or uh, they have it. I'm going to get a URL. That was the thing I URL. said we should yes, look up before I'm going to get that right I now. I, but I, I know it's Funimation Films is like the subset. Different sub-sex. than Funimation.com? Yeah, let me go um, get that. But but when you, you can literally t- type in your zip code and it'll pop up with a map of all the theaters that are showing up. Yep. The only <gasps> thing is, is that, that was you, I could totally yeah, hear. Yeah, I'm going to like stand up to you. It's like a car drove through your Keep stomach. talking. <laughs> it's not, I'm going to try to make my stomach he's, do the noise he's again. He's pushing his stomach towards the microphone, um, like the, Plato. Mm. You could put in your zip code and, all, and the thing will pop up, but you should look at, click on the individual theaters because... Depending if you want to see the dub or the subtitle, you will have to pay close attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, For yeah. some reason, not every single theater is specifying it. Yeah. Most of them are, but uh, a lot of them, there are still ones out there that are not. So in those cases, you have to actually call up that theater mm-hmm. and ask them. And, like, yeah, see, so, yeah, I... You know, I don't add. I advocate just to go see the movie because the movie's awesome. So yeah. you see it dub or sub or yeah. see it both. You know. Yeah, go and see then, it twice if you actually, can. Actually, this movie has so much rewatch value. It does. That I would actually recommend seeing it both ways. Yeah, for yeah, serious. Yeah, I'd be down. Um, I, would, I would do that. The I don't know how long it's going to be in theaters. It will be yeah. in theaters at least a week, but it depends on how well it does. Mm-hmm. So. You know, it's been released in almost like it's already been released in the UK. Like the dub has been released in the UK and and already in Australia, and it's all it's broken all sorts of uh, box office records for anime theatrical releases. So mm-hmm. hopefully, you know, the US I mean, the US doesn't will, disappoint. Yeah. I know it will be so sad if the US yeah. is like disappointed. Like in every country it's been released, it's broken box office records in like Korea, in China, in Taiwan, like in every single. A country and I was like oh my god. in gosh. Japan my god yeah. what a concept by the way that is uh, funimationfilms.com slash movie slash your name uh, I will have a link to that in the description as well uh, I'm assuming they're probably like a blu-ray release within the and, year too. and they said Funimation tweeted recently that if the movie is not playing at your local theater that the best thing you can do instead of like contacting Funimation because Funimation doesn't really have that much control over mm-hmm. the theaters decide if they're going to pick it up is to call the manager ask for the manager of call the theater ask for the manager and request it mm-hmm. yeah you have the power yes. and I, I just tweeted about this actually that something I love about this industry is that it's small and niche enough mm-hmm. that every voice is actually heard yep every you know uh, comment on a blog or tweet if you call a, a, a theater manager and ask for this film, it's going to make a difference. And I, I want to see anime better proliferated. Um, it's always sort of been on the, you know, 
Uh, there's been a sort of a glass ceiling, and this is a movie that I think has the potential to help the entire industry. And bring a few friends. It has, I think, it has a lot of crossover appeal. So if yeah. you're gonna go see it, you know, bring some friends that may not normally watch anime. I think they would actually really like it. So. Yeah, that, that's what I'm hearing a lot. Is that it? It is. It's like a. It, it is like a Miyazaki movie in terms of appeal, of where it's like people who don't generally watch anime can totally get something out of this. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it, it's it's number one worldwide for a reason. Like I'm I again with the vague stuff that I know, it seems like the themes and like I mean, well, for one thing, it looks gorgeous. All the visuals I've seen mm-hmm. are like top notch animation. Um, but like the actual story and the the themes of it and everything are like really powerful. Like that's why like going into it pretty blind, I'm I'm excited to see like what the whole kind of like deal with this film is. So and I would totally and, would echo that. And for those who are waiting to see it on Blu-ray, mm-hmm. I would say go to the theaters. I mean, yeah. if it's not playing near you, you, there's nothing you can do about it. But the visuals in this, oh my it's gosh, so mm-hmm. breathtaking. Yeah, it's one of those like films that you, it's. Much better. Like if you're on a pl- right now, I think it's on some flights on planes. Yeah, stuff. I have a lot of yeah, friends yeah. that have been like, "Oh my gosh, I saw this on a flight. It's and so I, good." I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, you should have seen it. Waited yeah. for the theater because yeah, yeah. it's just." I'll tell you so what, though. Beautiful. So we worked on it, and you know, we have fairly large monitors in the studio. When I went for our print master and saw it projected for the first time, uh, I noticed so many other things. As a as an avid photographer, something that I loved and I really wanted to talk to the director about was um, they do these time-lapse sequences. They're just like, you know, in montages, whatever. Yeah. But you can see as they're doing it that the virtual camera actually like slips focus a couple times, which can happen if you're not locked down or if you have to reset the camera during a time-lapse. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- when you see the time-lapse stuff, like there's one in the beginning, it happens sort of twice. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you see that the, the lens pump just a little bit. It's real subtle, but it looks real. I don't know if they rotoscoped it from from captured footage or if they just drew that in because whoever animated that sequence was a photographer. <laughs> but it's brilliant and it's realistic and like there's tons of stuff that I am like, oh my gosh, I never saw that before. And I've seen this movie a lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I still get choked up. That's the other thing. I mean, in terms of replayability, the okay, by the time we saw it at the Funimation premiere, yeah. we'd seen it, I, I don't even want to hazard a guess. Tons. And I've also sat through print masters where we project our mix in a theater yeah. and tweak it to make sure it's going to hold up in, in you know, theatrical broadcast yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, screenings. So um, I still go, oh, hey, you know what? That kind of, wait, wait, at the timeline in the, wait, you know that. Shush, 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 don't say too much. And, and I'm like, oh, that could have been a, so I'm still discovering things. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, as a director of the film, of course, I, uh, I'm an expert in it, basically. Uh, uh, but, but it still has replayability and I still get choked up yeah and uh, even the last time I saw it I was getting to I mean uh, I'm a manly man of course hey, clearly listen, and, and, but... and I can say to I mean to relate to this somewhat if it's something that you worked on and you can still get that reaction that is a good sign because like yeah, little... I know what went into the sausage and I'm still like yeah. convinced it's not I, I cried butts. last time I watched it yeah Cause, yeah because a little, little pro tip for you all like as artists, like that's not super common. We're not just like, oh my god, I'm I'm such a genius or whatever. <laughs> like, the, I, I like for people who know my stuff. Like the the end of the last episode of Tome still gets me, and I'm like, I made this, and like it's not to be self masturbatory. Cover your ears, Ipido. I said masturbatory, um, but like, but yeah, when you have something like that, it's like. It, it it means that it worked. <laughs> is 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 what is what the point of that is. So that that is a good sign to hear that. Yeah, I, um, I also just want to give a shout out to Stephanie. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in my performance that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't directed by you, specifically. Oh. If no. being um <laughs> being in the 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 easy trap is to just sound like act girly. And go really high in your voice. And we had a lot of conversations about just because you're in this other body doesn't mean you're, I mean, it's your mind in that body, but it's not your larynx in that body. So don't put on a girl voice. Don't mm-hmm. put on a boy voice. It's about attitude. Because it's still your, your, your biology is still yeah. a boy. So mm-hmm. you're going to, you might talk, you, you know, you might uh, resonate differently or use your lungs differently because your or, intention is that different yeah. so like in the, in the in the in the first scenes i'm like huh what's going on so there's i'm a lot more held back and i feel like in the beginning of the film both of us uh original say you and me there's it's it's a lot lighter a lot softer and a lot 
potentially girlier, but it's not putting on a girl voice. It's going, where am I? You know, and it's being cautious and hesitant and mm-hmm. confused. Uh, and that, along with being mitzha, um, makes it sound lighter, mm-hmm. but it's never trying to sound like a girl. Mm-hmm. It's not It's not drag. It's possession. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> possession! Spirit form! Sorry, wrong show. Yeah. Um, Which we had to change to unity! Yeah, I remember Sorry, that. I remember that. Yeah. When... when, when that company gets censored. That's that's a feat of science. No, that was a that was a, that was because some. Okay, we're talking about a show called uh, uh, Shaman King. Yes, and uh, I played the Horo Horo character whose name was changed to Trey Racer, <laughs> but um, into the Ikupasi uh, and a lot of toilet humor. But yes. uh, which I uh, always appreciate because mm. yeah, I go to the. I'm an avid toilet user, so yeah. I like bringing it into my work. I'm a fan. Um, the the thing on that one, it's it's it was like a Pokemon where you're fighting where you get. Uh, you, you find these ghosts and the ghosts possess your body and then they fight with you mm-hmm. and then you have superpowers as a kid it's pretty awesome except uh, one of the broadcast affiliates in the Midwest thought possession that sounds evil so we gotta change it <laughs> uh, we, we don't want no devil worshipping show so uh, which is not the Midwestern accent at all please don't think that that's what we did in your name for Midwestern but uh, so we had to re-record every time we say possession to say unity and you had like episodes like done by that yeah we had too. so many episodes and, like, done yeah so that was kind of a fun thing possession sounded more fun to yell but um hey we didn't want to offend anyone yeah all right, we should wrap it up. Right? Yeah, should we? Uh, thanks for joining the uh, Shaman King Kerr blog. Yeah, we should do one of those someday when I finish that. Um, I guess, uh, okay, yeah, go see it this weekend, uh, April 7th. Uh, again, go to funimationfilms.com slash movie slash your name. I will have a link in the description. Go check it out. Bring some friends. Uh, I guess I can't say, let us know your thoughts if you've already seen it in the comments below because I don't want to be spoiled, so I'm going to have to not look at the comments for the next couple of days. It's um, so crazy. I, I think there should be a race to see this movie if you don't like things being spoiled. Yeah. And if you're really a spoiler, no, it's just like don't Game do it. Game of Thrones. Yeah. It's, it's like, like you have to watch uh, it before someone talks God, about it. God damn. <laughs> um, uh, social media things want to plug at all? Anything? Sure. Ladies first. Oh, it's very simple. It's at Stephanie Shea. Yeah. As in, as how my name is spelled. And on, on the Twitter. Uh, that's that's the Twitter. Yeah. And then on Instagram, which I have not been really updating. You have it's the yeah. number two and then my last name. It's Touche. Touche. As. <laughs> that's clever. Yeah. Uh, mine is M Sinter. M S I N T E R. Because no one can fit my last name into anything. <laughs> it can't even um, fit in like the actual like your like the the name like listed. No. It's, your it's name. over a hundred forty characters. <laughs> yeah. My, I can't even itself, tweet my name. But you can't. You can't. Tweet Speaking of your name. <laughs> yeah. When in high school we had these swipey things. It couldn't. It said Michael Sinter Nicola. Yeah. It couldn't yeah. even get the. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then, so, M Center on Twitter, and then, uh, Instagram, which I'm only just start. I have sort of, I know the kids today, they're all on the Instagram, but I haven't I, been. I ain't on the Instagram. I don't get that shit. I used to be mad at it, because as a photographer, I was like, wait, I have to use your dumb filters, I can't even zoom, it's gotta be square, what? Don't <laughs> limit my photography, but now that you can do stuff, I guess I should get on board. Yeah. So, uh, that is the, 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 the handle I really wanted to use on Twitter, but I couldn't. MS. Word. Yes, M S W O R D. That's my uh, Michael Sinter Nicholas word. That's that's cute. That's cute. And I my, wasn't taken on Instagram. That's amazing. It wasn't. No, wow. it's my parallel. If I had been a DJ, I could have been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, God, I mean, I don't even know. Are there any any shows, movies, games, things out now that you can talk about that you can think of that are out that are okay? Um, my life as a zucchini is coming out on home. Oh TV, yeah, though, yeah, right? of course, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. We had uh, Nick Offerman. Oh uh, yeah, and. Uh, Amy Sedaris and Ellen Page. Actually, Nick Offerman gave me some carpentry advice for mounting this big, beautiful wow. monitor in here. Oh and actually, we were... Yeah, so uh, <laughs> when I was done... And Will Forte. And Will Forte, wow. who's so charming. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, I loved working with them. And we have a bunch of incredible kids who play orphans that will break your heart but also lift your spirits. Um, Including the kid from uh, Daredevil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our lead kid, Eric, was um, was in Daredevil. Oh, this, the He's, Netflix one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was wow. like abducted oh my God. Uh, and crazy. rescued by the daredevil. <laughs> uh, uh, Christian also worked on that. Christian Lamont, I think, that you do something. Oh, yeah. He oh, that's uh, great. did a script annotation. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Very cool. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It was Oscar nominated for a good reason. Um, and uh, other stuff that's out now that we can talk about? I mean, oh, yeah. Well, Gundam uh, Unicorn which was done as an OVA series is now on uh, Toonami. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, which you guys are awesome. both in. 
Yeah, yeah. So that's one I directed, um, and it's so good. It's I love that show. Feature quality animation. Um, I'm so glad I got to be on TV. I talked to Toonami uh, execs like years ago about there should be more, uh, you know, Gundam on TV, and they're yeah. like, yeah. Well, we love Unicorn, but it's not formatted right. And then, boom, it got formatted yep. right, and now it's on TV. You're welcome. Now, if only Origin will get that treatment, and I'll just be happy. Because right. then I can have I'll a make sad a call. time. Yeah. Uh, any, any, anything for you? I don't know. I, mean, uh, I think the next DC superhero high movie called Intergalactic Games oh, yes. is out May 7th. Oh, May, shoot. May. May, <laughs> May 9th. May 9th. Okay. And then uh, home video is... The 23rd, May 23rd. You're Katana on that, right? Yes. Cool. You're wow. a DC girl. That's pretty cool. Oh, my God. Um. Oh, uh, and uh, Miss Hokusai is on home video now. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it's super good. Um, Richard good. Epcar is the master painter. Erica Limbeck kills it as his daughter. Yeah, dog. Um, really, really good. And um, uh, uh, there was another thing. Oh, oh and I, I directed a series for... Uh, Hasbro called oh, yeah. Hanazuki. You can get it for free right now on YouTube. Oh yeah, and it's I being released yeah, with the yeah. lunar cycle because she's a moonflower. It's really really great. And our uh, lovely Cassandra Morris is actually in that. Nice. It's original animation. It's really really great. Um, and uh, it gets kind of deep. Yeah. But it's also whimsical. Wow. I love that piece oh, so yeah. much. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And no, one, I remember hearing about that. That's one awesome. of my favorite characters of all time, isn't it? His name is Sleepy Unicorn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sleepy Unicorn? <laughs> when I first. Like, yeah. Hey. Is that is that your like Native American like tribesman name? Hey, yeah, hey. my my spirit animal would be a sleepy unicorn. Because <laughs> I'm always jet lagged, <laughs> but but feels like a special unique snowflake. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, awesome! Go check out all of that uh, after well or before whenever. Buy your, your tickets. Schedule. Go check out your name. Funimationfilms.com slash movie slash your name. Go see it, please. Rave everywhere. Reviews. Do the thing. I love you all. Thank you guys Thank for you. Jo- well, uh, joining me, but also allowing me to come into your humble abode studio place. It's <laughs> lovely in here. Thanks for having me. Yay. You. Thanks for having me. And th- th- we'll thank you guys for all listening. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, whatever that, whatever next whatever that is. anime thing will be. That's it. Okay, bye. Say goodbye, Ipido. Do some. Say Murph. something. Murph. Nothing. Murph. Got nothing? Murph. I got to work on my you're directing. A, you're a doge. <laughs>